But actually, because you, you so you brought up the the touring thing, I wanted to bring up. So you actually announced recently that you're going yeah, on a final uh, tour. Is this like a kiss final tour? Where <laughs> like it's Cher, final, her, but her, like share her yeah. f- her final tour was I don't know ten years, yeah, fifteen years. Um, this is the final final. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, I I love doing what I do, mm-hmm. and that has to probably be my favorite side of it because I love meeting new people. Mm-hmm. I love meeting a variety of people. Yeah. I like seeing people, um, you know, maybe I see them two or three times a year and spend some quality time with people. Mm-hmm. And I love that. I do. <clears throat> but I'm, I feel like I'm entering another phase, mm-hmm. which by the way, you should have me back probably in, Mm, September, October. Okay. I won't say anything more, but but have me back. Okay. <laughs> we'll do another interview. Okay. Um, because I got a lot coming up. Are you so are a you looking to, up. to like are you like gonna leave the industry or you're just no, not gonna no, tour anymore? I'm not I'm just not gonna tour anymore. Okay. A lot uh, of people are sigh of relief. Yeah. She's not going. <laughs> yeah, I'm not leaving the industry. Okay. I definitely have a lot I'm doing. Uh new OnlyFans platform and like a new yeah. not platform, but a new uh new something crop. different. Okay. Completely different. Um and then I have a whole line of movies I want to do of my own productions, not necessarily with me in them, but mm-hmm. me directing or me, you know, storyboarding them and yeah, you yeah, know, behind, yeah. yeah. Uh, behind the scenes, exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I have some new changes in my familial thing. So okay, <laughs> I, I will just say that and yeah, leave yeah, it at yeah, that because yeah. I don't want to jinx anything. No, 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 no. Um, but yeah, there's a lot going on. And I feel like touring, I tend to be the type of person who just goes, like I've said before, I go in big waves. And mm-hmm. when I go in that wave, it's a big wave. Yeah. So when I tour... I am gone the whole year. I might come back a couple of weeks. Here or there. And that, you know, and it's like a week here, oop, four days here, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and I've done a lot to my house now, and I feel good in my house. It feels really uh, like a blessing to be home. Yeah, it's a you home. Know? Yeah. Because a house is just a building. Exactly. You know. Exactly. Um, which brings another whole thing I would love to do interior design and I signed up and paid for the school and then I got caught up in touring and traveling and I was dating somebody and that became a big deal and I just didn't devote the time and attention to the school and this and that and okay, so now I have to re-up for the school yeah. and it is something I really want to do, you know? Okay. Um, I also bought 196 acres in Tennessee. Oh. I um I want to build a ranch. Okay. I want to have little little animals and <laughs> you know. I I don't really like the direction that I see the world going, at least the world in our neck of the woods. Yeah. Meaning the US is not I mean, if you just watched Instagram and the news, you'd probably be terrified to leave your house. Yeah, they, they, it's a lot. There's you a know? lot of there's a lot of stuff out there that seems. And I travel, so I can tell you beyond a shadow of a doubt, it's not like they're portraying it. No, you know, I mean, I go to New York and I'm unaccosted. Mm-hmm. You don't see gangs and guns and yeah. you know, craziness now. Are there places? Yeah, I'm sure because they're not making, I don't believe they're making news stories up where people are dying or people are getting injured. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I have noted for a long time that the United States allows their food to be altered, allows things. Did you hear about the Cheerios thing? No. What there's something here? that just broke that said that I guess there's a, there's a pesticide. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, but, no, no. That, but, but this is exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's why. It's it's so I guess the story broke that they found in Cheerios and some other oat-based foods that there's a pesticide in them that causes infertility. And Okay, so that's that is more to the topic of what I'm talking about. Mm. I feel like I Maybe it's worldwide. I don't know. I don't live in another country. Yeah. I live in this country, and yeah. I can just speak on this country. This country is attacking people. Mm-hmm. 
you know, the powers that be don't like us. We are the cockroaches of the world. Mm -hmm. And they are trying to reduce population. How do you do that? Well, you attack fertility and you kill people off. How do you do that? The air they breathe, the water they drink, the food they eat. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. It's pretty basic. So if you're not growing your own food, raising your own animals, you can't believe anything they tell you. Mm -hmm. The food pyramid is BS. Yeah, wasn't it? it was, I think it was created by the guy who initially <laughs> invented the K ration in World War II. I forgot what his name Probably. was. But yeah, he <clears throat> created, he, so he, but, and they created the pyramid as a means of just trying to, I think, promote, obviously I'm sure people are going to, you know, clarify and, 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 and in the comments yeah. and stuff like that. But essentially I heard that the, basically it was, it was, yeah, it, it was, it wasn't based on any real kind of nutrition science. It was just based on. No, it's actually exactly inverse. Yeah. It's exactly opposite of what it should be. Because carbs and grains and bread is considered, you have should to eat the most of that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Exactly. It's sad because I love them though. Yeah. I love bread. Well, it's addictive. I know. It's. Uh, but it's, what you don't know is not only do they do GMOs mm -hmm. that they have to label for, right? Mm -hmm. But there's this whole thing called hybridization. Mm -hmm. So people don't know this. You might be reactive to wheat products, bread products, anything that has grain in it, and you're not reactive to gluten. Yeah. So you're like, what's going on? Well, they hybridize wheat. Like, let's say there's a hundred different species of wheat, and they all have different good qualities and bad qualities, but they're just looking at the good qualities, and they say that one is resistant to you know drought, and this one is resistant to this, and this one does the bugs don't like, and this and this and this, right? Mm -hmm. So they pluck out all this DNA from each and every one of them, and they create a new strand. Oh, interesting. And in that creation, they don't... You you are only testing for gluten, but there are other proteins that you could be reacting to that mm. you have no idea to test for. Yeah. 